everyone. Welcome back to another episode of the Upbeat Dietitians podcast. Hello, guys. Welcome back to a brand new episode. Today, we are talking about what I eat in a day videos, also known sometimes as like full days of eating. We, to be transparent, don't have an outline today. We are just going on vibes. So we'll see where this conversation takes us. We have lots of thoughts. Emily and I always discuss it. So I'm sure we'll be able to come up with plenty to say about what I eat in a day videos. Yes. But before we get into all of it, we wanted you to, so you don't get sick of us at the end when we just like get sick of us now. (laughs) You can get sick of us now while you're still here. Um, Be sure to check out the Beat Deets for bonus content. Our link is in our Instagram. It's also on our website. It's through Spotify to get more bonus content and more of us. Um, I'm trying to think of like, I don't know anything else we have to prove. Oh, you could submit questions now on the website. So at theupbeatdietitians.com. There's like under the podcast tab, there's a submit a question tab. Go there. You can see upcoming question or upcoming topics that we're going to talk about. And you can submit questions there. So that way we can actually talk about what you want to hear. So definitely go do that. I feel like there's a third thing and I'm, we're new to this. Yeah. We are going to start doing this housekeeping in the beginning of the episode, just to kind of remind you guys of what's all going on. It will usually be the same stuff, but I'm sure we'll have different stuff as we are creating new ideas. The third thing that I want to add is if you are not already and you do want to watch us instead of just listen, you can always go to YouTube. We are over there so you can see us chat, see our reactions to each other's (laughs) words. Um, That's always an option as well if the audio only is just not cutting it for you. And we will have some episodes coming up where we highly recommend watching the video version. Because you might be watching something with us. That's mm-hmm. a, a mm-hmm. spoiler alert, but you'll have to see in the future what that is. So with no further ado. Without further ado. With, <laughs> this is how my brain works at this time. They're used to it. Without any further ado, let's talk about what I eat in day videos, full day of eatings. Specifically, what are these? So they're kind of self-explanatory. They are a video of someone posting everything they eat during the day. Typically, it's like meals and snacks. They don't always include like drinks. I noticed those aren't, I don't tend to see that as much unless they just are drinking a lot. Yeah, that's true. Smoothies are always included or like protein shakes or supplements so that will be included but it's kind of just a full video picture of what someone eats for the entire day and hannah already kind of talked about who posts these videos it's a lot of like wellness girly or just wellness culture in general tens of social types of social media will post about this yeah we're gonna get into a little bit more but that's kind of just the bottom line of what it is. Yeah. Sometimes dietitians too will post, like I've posted what I eat in a day videos and yeah, we'll get to our thoughts on like if they should or shouldn't be a thing in our opinion. So I won't put too much into that now, but pretty much anyone will post them even like just like general influencers. I think people like love to watch or just know what everyone enjoys eating. I enjoy knowing what others are eating. Yeah. Good segue here, I guess, into potential problems. I like watching them just because I like getting like recipe ideas and things like that. Um, Seeing what someone creates, like what their go-to breakfast is just for like new ideas. But a potential problem here could be that you feel like you like have to eat those foods or you compare your foods to their foods. If there's are quote unquote, like healthier looking, like that's first and foremost, one of the biggest issues I'd say is just like the food comparison. And that applies to like, not only the choices, but portions as well. It's like, Oh, they only had that many pieces of toast. I usually have this many pieces of toast and just makes you feel like you are either overeating or undereating or doing something wrong, which is not necessarily the case. Yes. 
the portions are a big part and something else is like, they don't show how much they eat. Mm -hmm. They don't normally do like a before and after I start eating this meal, but that would also be a very long video if (laughs) they showed the entire time they were eating. (laughs) Cause I remember back in um, high school, probably there was like this one specific model. I would watch a lot of her, what I eat in a day videos and she would make huge portions mm. for like breakfast. And I was like stunned. I was like, how is she eating that much? But I'm pretty sure now I look back at it, she was like meal prepping breakfast for the week. It was like like toppings and stuff like that. But it just looked like, oh my gosh, you're making a full sheet pan of nuts and like trail mix. How are you eating all of that? Yeah. So videos do show better picture than uh, than pictures like we talked about with the progress pictures but it doesn't show the whole story especially the portion sizes exactly as well I feel like another issue maybe yours is the same as mine (laughs) I'm sure we have different ones too but the next one I want to point out is uh, it's not always happening but there tends to be a trend of body checks before should we get into that side of things that's going to be like I feel like the main the main perpetrator (laughs) of issues yeah if you don't know what body body checking is is. yeah Yeah, if you don't know what that is it's when before someone shows their video whether it's like the workout routine or what I eat in a day usually in some way like health and fitness related they do like a body check just like showing their body usually like their abs are out or their other they're usually exposing more skin than someone who wouldn't be doing a body check showing off that yes. they have created a body with these food choices and or workout routines. And the big issue here is it perpetuates the idea that if you follow this workout routine that I follow, or if you eat this, what I eat today, like I did with these portions and these amounts and all of that, then you will get the same body which we've discussed a million times on here before, but that's not how it works. We always say this, I know it's so cliche, but you could eat the exact same as that person and work out the exact same as that person. And you would still look different because bodies are more than just food and exercise. They're an outcome of so many different things. And I know that I always see the argument about whether body checking is a bad thing, but like whether your mind wants to associate the two or not like you the first thing you see in a video is like oh someone's like what I eat in a day and it's some like flexing or like definitely showing more skin I'm like thinking about it. I've never seen anyone like in what we wear like in pjs <laughs> like no one's starting the video off in pjs I know. Like, this is what I eat in a day where it like doesn't show their body at all it's always not always that's an extreme I have not seen every what I eat in a day video, so I could be <laughs> wrong. <laughs> but it's very like the majority of the time, there's a lot of skin showing and they're flexing. And then what the brain does, and it like associates, oh, this is what this person looks like. This is what they eat. Mm-hmm. And like whether that's intentional or not, it's. I feel like sometimes I can see like two ways around it. Like one, it is intentional. A lot of the times I think it is intentional or someone's like, this is like what other people do, or this is how they show it off. That's a little bit unintentional, but it's still having that effect where it's like, this is what I eat to look like this each day. And it's like one day of eating. Like that's a problem too. I hope. I hope that's a, it's another thing, but we'll, we won't get to that yet. Yeah. But the body checking is the main thing where you can show what you eat in a day. I've seen like what I eat in a day videos. There's actually a TikToker I follow. Um, so I don't know what she used to be a cooking account, but now she just does what I eat in a day. Video. Like that's it. But she never shows herself. And it's just like cute little like cooking it's it's still more cooking I would say but it's just like like a full day of cooking almost yeah yeah so there is a way to do it I feel like that's a spoiler but it's the like showing your body and then showing what you eat especially if 
your business operates off of your body type, which we talked about last week is a big thing or two weeks ago, probably whenever the progress picture episode was all about how that's a big issue with fitness. The fitness industry is if you don't have a certain body type, you have a hard time getting clients basically. And I feel like if you do these, what I eat in a days, starting with the body check, knowing that by showing off your abs or your biceps or whatever, that you have a better chance of getting more clients or people buying your product, whatever it is, that's when it becomes a problem. Um, but not everyone's doing that. Not everyone has a business where they're trying to get clients or whatever. And some people do just do what I eat in a day videos for other reasons, like that cooking lady that you talk, talked about. Um, but yeah, I think that's my biggest issue with it in terms of the body check thing is like, is it leading to you getting more sales just because you can, what's the word I want to say, manipulate your clients into thinking that they will look like you if they eat like you, basically. Does that make any sense at all? I feel so like there's I, a lot it was all over like the place. That. No, it does. I think it definitely does make sense. And there's even some of that in the dietitian world. So it's not just the wellness influencers yeah or fitness there's some of our own <laughs> mm -hmm. unfortunately but like just body checking isn't great it's not like you're not allowed to post your body on the internet exactly not like I love it. to wear like a crop top my belly's hanging out like that's not the issue here it's the intention behind it that's like a yeah. big that's the big thing with what I eat in a day videos like it's like what is the intention behind this like Hannah made a really good note like are they going to make a sale based off of how their body looks and how they're like what they're showing what they're eating it is this like a comparison video is this like to get a little bit more views like stuff like that which I feel like honestly anytime you're, you're posting on social media you're trying to get views so I don't know how much that round that holds there. I don't know um, who's posting, hoping that no one watches it. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, yes. <laughs> but I see what you're saying. I definitely agree. Yeah. And I think, what was it? Oh, the other problem that we thought of was it's one day. Yeah. So like, I like the one lady I watch because I don't want to say lady. She's like our age, the girl. <laughs> I would not describe us as ladies. Me neither. <laughs> that feels a little bit older. Um, not there's not that there's, there's anything wrong with being older. Or it's not there yet. But I just, can't wait to be honestly. I want to be wise no. and old and know what my life I is saw about. a video that was like, I get why like old people sit outside and do nothing. <laughs> I saw that. And I'm like, yeah, that's what I want. I want that. Yeah. Like me too. Doing nothing, just being present. Mm -hmm. That sounds great. Sounds really great. <laughs> um, but the other problem was it's like one going back. Sorry, I really did hurt. I did the help. person, <laughs> the, the girl that I follow, she posts them every day. So she's showing like different things she's eating, but she never body checks. So like it's more of just like, let's look at what I'm cooking every day type videos. Whereas if like someone posts it every once in a while or only one. And it's like a lot about the intention behind it. Like it's not a good picture of what they're eating every single day. They could be leaving out food. They could be including more food than you see. Um, you don't always know what is going on there and you don't know how accurate of a day that actually is for them. Exactly. Like, I think basically here, like what I eat in a day videos can be, which I guess is a good segue into our next piece on this. We have more problems we want to talk about. Like they can be just fun content to watch, but they should not be guiding your eating in any way. Like they should not ever be used to determine for you personally, what food choices you're going to make maybe for ideas in terms of like meals to make and stuff like that, but never in terms of like portions or like the exact ingredients you have to use in a recipe or anything like that. They should never be 
a deciding factor in your food choices. Retweet. Retweet. Agreed. Well, do we have any other problems to mention before we go to our opinions on if we think these are appropriate or not? I think those are the big ones. I don't think there's like a ton of time. The big thing is like the intention behind it and the body checking. I feel like those are the two really big ones. Yeah, Yeah. I agree. And what you just said too, all the portions and like, not the portions, the, that only depicts one day. Yeah. Which people often don't eat unless you're Emily, eat the exact same thing every single day. (laughs) Unless you're me. So that's true. My what I eat in a day video might be an accurate depiction of Emily has confessed on the podcast. To do that. <laughs> Emily has confessed on the podcast that she is accidentally an intermittent faster and she accidentally has no variety. <laughs> and it's the same thing almost every day. <laughs> yes. Yes. Neither intentional. Again, the intentions with Actually, the biggest like if I had heads. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about if we can incorporate this or like if there's a way to incorporate these videos. So I think the foodie in me, I don't even want to say dietitian. The foodie in me wants to say, I want more of these because I just love seeing what people are eating. Like Same. you said, Hannah, like Same. I just love to see like breakfast ideas and lunch ideas and dinner ideas and like it's so cool because like everyone has to eat so everyone's eating something at some point or another during the day so it's like always so fun and like especially like cultural wise to see like what are types of foods are people eating how are they cooking it like stuff like that and I think there is an appropriate way to share these videos and I think this number one way that would help this would be to stop by checking. I think that would play a huge part. Like I'm sure if they clicked on the video and then they went to someone's page, like there'd be maybe a video of some part of their body somewhere, unless they were like, I always like really kind of envy the people who don't ever show themselves on camera. I'm like, wow, that's, <laughs> you don't have to like look semi clean. You can just voice it over sometimes it's not even a voice like uh some people like have like one of my favorite like reactors is like Ava react she's like that white fluffy dog like it's just her dog barking and like (laughs) that sounds really great to me um but I think the body checking is one of the most problematic things that we would need to kind of get rid of and it really doesn't serve a purpose. Like it's not really helping anyone. Also, I don't know if you're muted or if I lost you. I was muted. Sorry. Okay. 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 Um, what I was saying was ex- except for like to make sales, like that's how it helps, but it only helps them. Yes. It's not really helping anyone else. Unfortunately. Yeah. And I think like, it's, it's just the body checking. It's like a really big, it just doesn't have the best effect. Like in this day and age, especially where like there's constant body comparison, diet culture is running prevalent everywhere. Just like everyone wants to like be as small as possible. And then you see this video of this like small, typically it's a girl, I haven't ever seen a guy do a what I ate in a day video. I don't know if the algorithm just knows. Mm-hmm. I don't really, I don't know if I'd want to see that. <laughs> um, but it's, I typically see like girls do these videos. Um, and then like, you see like how toned their abs are, or what their legs look like. And then you're like, oh, I want to eat like that. Or I want to do that fitness routine. I'm actually really glad you brought up the fitness component of it. Cause I didn't realize how much I, there is of that online until like, I started looking back through my saved like workout videos and there's a lot of body checking and fitness workout videos. 
Yeah, that's like if you saw a plus size male or female uh, trying to like promote what I eat in a day to get you to be their like personal training client. I feel like they're way less likely to get the clients compared mm-hmm. to someone with a six pack doing the same exact thing. Like they could, we could have the exact same content, exact same video, exact same yes. information being presented, but the person with the quote unquote fit body is going to be the one that makes more sales. Yeah. Yes. So we just need to get rid of that. I think that would be very helpful. Yeah. I don't have a whole lot to add. I, I agree also with- think, Go ahead. sorry. I think, yeah. I think we're lagging because I keep, no, you I keep didn't. talking during your, your spaces <laughs> and then like it cuts you off when you're talking. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm a little behind. <laughs> I think so too. Um, I didn't have a lot to add to that. I think I agree with everything that you say. I know as dietitians, it's very controversial for us to say that, especially as non-diet dietitians, that we aren't completely against what I eat in a day videos. I think a lot of like intuitive eating, anti-diet, non-diet, whatever you call yourself, dietitians tend to be like very strict, like never share what I eat in a day video. But like we've explained, I think there's a place for them. Um, It's all, again, all about the intention behind them really. It's what it all comes down to. Yeah. I think at one point, well, I know I don't want to speak for you. I know at one point I was very anti, like, oh, I remember I saw like one of our dietitian friends post a what I eat in a video. And I was like, horrified. Rage I, was, like, blackout. Oh, I was like, oh my gosh, like they're showing what they're eating and people are going to compare, but like, it's a lot. It's the intention and it's if we didn't have that component where like we were constantly comparing our bodies to each other like imagine a world like that like not even just that part um it wouldn't be something we'd have to tiptoe around so much but like there could be a way to do these that could be really beneficial like Mm -hmm. also if someone was like this is what a really Speaking of which, okay, speaking of which, we just, a video we just watched together where someone like shows everything they ate, but they also showed like how they did it like working or like, this is how I managed to fit it all in. That could be really beneficial. Like, yeah. How did you manage to cook all your meals or like make sure you're eating enough while you're working or Mm -hmm. you're also going to exercise classes or like whatever it is like that's. I feel like from a time management standpoint, a big time management fan, that could be really beneficial as well. Yeah. I've on YouTube a long time ago, it's probably not a very good video, but my intentions were, I think, positive. I tried to post a what I eat in the day of like when the day basically goes to shit, like how I still was able to feed myself and like just get stuff in. Mm -hmm. Um, Again, probably not the best production, but that was my intention there was to kind of show that like... Eating doesn't have to be as complicated, crazy thing. Like it can just be just feeding yourself is sometimes the bare minimum. Um, I had another thought. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh, I also see sometimes like people in like anorexia recovery posting like what I eat in the days. Yeah. And again, how it ends up being produced, I think plays a role in if it's a productive video or not. But um I think it can be helpful to show like that experience and they're eating more than they're used to. But once again, especially if you're coming from an eating disorder, comparing your food choices or your body or anything like that to someone who is maybe at a different point in recovery is not going to be helpful, but I think it can be cool just to see the experience that it is possible to to recover and all of that. So once again, kind of wishy-washy here, but that's another example of ones I'd see that could be helpful. Yeah. It's the intention behind it. Cause like yep. right off the bat, you're saying this is like an eating disorder recovery video. And there are some times I, I see this all over the internet because there's just the mentality online is like, oh, there's a lot of mentalities online, but like <laughs> one of the main the ones is like, well, they don't owe you anything and you should just swipe away. Like that could be a video where like, you know where you're at 
in recovery and this is not going to benefit you, but maybe this will benefit someone else who also has an eating disorder um, or is in recovery. So like, that'd be a good instance to like swipe away. Um, But then there are some times where it's just like very intentional where they're like trying to get you to sell, buy something of theirs, whether it's a supplement, whether it's a fitness package where it's, they are kind of owing us something because they're promising results, but they're potentially, their marketing strategy isn't the most honest. Yeah. Yeah. I I see a lot of that too. That applies a lot to our content. A lot of times too, like the comments will say, I don't know. It's also something like you don't need to count calories. And of course all the calorie counters come in and say, Oh, why would you say this? Oh, yada, yada, yada like you could just like swipe this and apply to you but I do get the argument of I am putting that on out on the internet where anybody could see it so I can totally see both sides it's about knowing yourself I think and like knowing what is going to benefit you and blocking accounts that you know we're not going to help you and hitting the not interested button it's tough it's like I agree with both sides I think People should be able to post whatever they want and people can just scroll past or whatever, but also we have to have like a little bit of understanding of what our outreach can be with our videos that we're posting. The tricky space to be in and someone's always going to be unhappy, but it's about the intent and knowing who you're trying to reach and what you're trying to like give them. Yeah. Precisely. So I think that's everything I have to say about what I am day videos. Can't really think of much else. Overall, I think we would probably at some point in our dietetics career, we'd probably be surprised to hear ourselves say what I eat in day videos are not horrendous or terrible. Like they can be okay. It's just, unfortunately, the way that they're presented right now might not be the most beneficial to people and could be potentially doing more harm than good right now. If we all just started making these shifts in our videos, it'd be crazy. (laughs) Imagine (laughs) how much different the world would be. (laughs) Yeah. But. Yeah, we've definitely changed our thoughts and I'm sure ask us another year from now. I'm sure we'll have different thoughts once again. That's why you get to think whatever you think about these. If you are very mm-hmm. anti what I eat in a day, that's totally fine. If you are a sucker for what I eat in the day and you love them, that's okay too. It's the internet. There's something there for everybody. Yeah. Yeah. So that wraps up everything we're talking about today. We do not have to plug anything to you because we already included that. So definitely go be sure to check out the Beat Deeds for this week's bonus question. It is a very fun one. And I think it's going to get really obscure, but (laughs) it is what it is. And that is us. (laughs) Unhinged dietitians. Yes. So thanks so much for listening today, guys. We appreciate you being here and we'll see you next week. Thanks guys. See you next week or in the bonus question, hopefully. Thank you so much for tuning in on this episode of the Upbeat Dietitians with your hosts, Emily Krause and Hannah Thompson. We appreciate you all so much for continuing to support us. In order to support us and sustain the success of this podcast, please subscribe and leave a rating and review. If you'd like to provide us feedback for future episodes and guest stars, follow us on Instagram at The Upbeat Dietitians. Lastly, you can show us support by providing a monthly donation using the link at the end of our bio. Once again, thank you so much for listening today and stay tuned next Wednesday for a new episode. Until then, we hope you have a wonderful rest of your week.